Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to learn about Microsoft Azure storage account with respect to the file shares. So we learned in the previous lectures about storage account and storage account offers a couple of different storage solutions. Let's say containers, tables and queues. Now this time we're going to work with the file shares. So file shares are serverless SMB share folders. So it's like you can basically Azure files offers fully managed file shares within the cloud and you can access from anywhere with your SMB protocol or maybe NFS. When you say NFS, um, yes, you can access from Linux and Mac client also, or not just from the Windows, so you can access from anywhere. This way, NFS file shares uh, are useful for the Linux users and the Mac, uh, Mac OS uh, specific clients. And uh, Windows, um, definitely SMB 3.0 is used within this. So let's jump into a quick demonstration on how to create a simple file share and try to map on a Windows machine. To do that, uh, you can go to the, your storage account and map it to your file sheets and click on file share. This is where you can uh, give the share folder name. Let's say if this is HR, uh, HR specific, HR docs example, and uh, the maximum quota, you can give up to five TB. And here I can give as a one GB of the minimum, um, what I wanted. And you can define the, uh, uh, the tie specific transaction which is going to happen. So most of the time we would be using the transaction optimizer, which is a habit of a uh, cool and hot specific in including the premium so you can take the uh, transaction optimized and click on create so that would actually create a shape folder now what next definitely to work with this we need to uh, you can directly click on that shape folder and uh, work from here definitely as an admin we can work but not for the end users right so what we do is let's see uh, if I wanted to upload directly, I can do it from here, like upload and browse. I can give uh, some files to be uploaded. Let's say upload the simple trace file, um, trace.log file. So this has been uploaded. If I refresh here, I should be able to see here the contents that we uploaded. Now, let's say I wanted to uh, work from Windows mode, like a normal network map. So how we work in mapping that network share very similar the way like you map here from the here uh, like map network drive and you would be actually giving the network uh, share folder similar way if you want to you know map it automatically you have the commands that are already given by Microsoft Azure let's say if I just go back one more time to the HR docs so you can have your connect option so when you click on connect if your client machine is running on a windows you get a different commands that are pre-populated for you like these and uh, if you want to map for a different operating system in this case linux you can use this and if it is a mac yes you have a different option and at the same time for mapping the drive later in windows maybe you don't want on a z drive maybe you can go for u drive example so all you have to do is when you take that it automatically updates the command line that is used to map it here and all you have to do is just copy this code and you see here this is a powershell command so just open a powershell uh, and the powershell window for example if i'm just opening powershell here and this PowerShell again, there are in a few things that we need to know. So if you open the PowerShell in a Windows mode as a normal user, so it's going to map the context in a user mode. If you run as the uh, PowerShell as a run as administrator, it actually maps in that mode. So that's a kind of a bug kind of thing, I would say. The reason being why I'm seeing a bug uh, if I since I have run now on a Windows you see here it is not an admin mode so it will be appear here on a Windows context that's a logged on user context but if I run the same command with uh, run as a PowerShell admin command that's not gonna actually show up here so that's a problem and uh, you need to you know uh, look into that and this is actually here it was passing a uh, to enter the credentials so this all is the one um, command from here to here you see here the first command is actually testing uh, 
uh, testing was successful now if this connection is success from here to here a single command that we wanted to execute so what i'll do is i'll simply uh, use this uh, command to execute so now i supply the command to test this so any point of time it's going to actually map here and it will appear here for us now you see here now this hr docs has been mapped automatically and if i just double click on my windows it's very really normal and you can work with the files like it's opening the file and i can open to view all that so it's it's very similar uh, the experience is very similar for you uh, very similar to the windows experience what you are getting with the a cloud sheet folders so that's all about the file sheets but if at all you don't want to connect with the powershell but you want to work with the command yes you can use a net use command so so net use and then whatever the mapping you want to do it like this way you can do it uh, also from the uh, windows side uh, let's say i wanted to map uh, now also map directly from this pc and right click and map by giving the shape folder with the backslash backslash with the shade name so in this case that's the name so just copy that and give us a backslash backslash with the name uh, in the user account and the folder name and then make sure that you take that uh, connect with a different user credentials and give the user id oops i need to give the, their backslash and then click on uh, finish then it would actually ask for the user id so make sure that you click on the different user account and uh, you see here within this uh, you have powershell you have an option for giving the user credentials that the user is azure backslash paddy demo that's a name i should enter and this is a password whatever it is mentioned and then it will be connected uh, with that specific mapped uh, drive letter let's say if it is you or it's gonna map as you or whatever the drive letter you want it's gonna map it so i can copy that password and give it so that it's gonna work so that's how you can map it from the windows mode and if at all you want to do it from the net use command you can use a net use command also uh, at the same time i just wanted to show you here a major difference uh, between the run as administrator that's a run as administrator so you know that we have already mapped network right so if i just use the net use command i do not see this drive letter which is in a u it clearly says there's no entries in the list but the same command if i use it with the normal command uh, window you see here this is just a user context it's not as administrator the same command on the same machine if i use it i'm actually getting the drive letter also so this is a kind of you know uh, thing which you need to know, know um, what kind of you know credential you are using if you are using administrator i'm sure that you know you might need you might not get it actually in this pc as a network map drive uh, unless you actually wanted to work fully in the command window so that's a normal mapping issue but that's that's fine you know you would normally do it with the command window normal window so just wanted to cover that uh, small bug kind of thing to you with you and uh, i hope this entire lecture is useful for you thank you for uh, learning as your file share from me and i'll catch you in the next lecture